Hello, welcome back to Elijah's Origami Palace. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this boat. It looks like this. So what we'll, what you need is a piece of square paper, 15 by 15 centimeters to get this size, and it's going to be very thick, so you can have a crisp piece of paper or like a bigger one. So yeah, let's get started. So the first steps, just the first step is to fold it in half diagonally both ways. Just like this. Unfold and fold two of the corners into the center. Just like this. And now you're going to unfold those and fold the points to the line we just created in the middle. like this and do it on both sides. Now it should look like this. Now you want to fold both of those in and flip it over. Now we're going to do the same thing. So fold both corners in. Just like this. Unfold them, fold the points to the line we just created. And then fold it in. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold both edges, this top edge and then this bottom edge into the center. <clears throat> Just like this. Now fold all corners into the center. just like this. And now the paper is going to get pretty thick for this next move. What you're going to do is fold this diagonal edge right here along the center crease. Just, just like that. Then you're going to do it on the other side. And it's going to look like this. And now you're going to repeat those steps on the other end of the model. And when you do it, this fold that you're going to make is going to overlap this fold. So it's going to look like that. So it looks like this. Now we're going to do another fold and it's going to make it thicker. We're going to fold this top, well not top point, but these two points right here into the center. Just 
just like this. So now it should look like this. Now, the last step might be a little tricky. What you're going to do is take these two inside flaps, just like this under everything, and then you're going to turn it inside out. So be careful not to rip it at the points. Like that, and repeat on the other side. And that's the bottom of the boat. If we flip it over, it'll look like this. And we can bring these two things up. Or leave them down if you want. You can do either. So, yeah. That is how you create your origami boat. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!